Hey everybody, Rick Vench here. In this video I'd like to go over how to print any custom size from your lab, regardless of what sizes they are set up to print. Here we have a photo that will be going into a frame that is 11 inches by 15 inches. The lab we will be printing from does not have an option for choosing an 11 by 15 inch print. So we need to use Photoshop to transform this photo so that we can print it on a size that is available at the lab. Now the closest size that the lab can print is a 12 by 18. So we need Photoshop to somehow add extra pixels around this photo to extend it to 12 inches by 18 inches. Here's how we can do that. First, we need to crop this photo to 11 by 15. So we're going to select the crop tool. If you right click on a tool, you'll be able to see what a sh keyboard shortcut is. We'll go to our width, and we'll type in our 15. We'll go to our height, and we'll type in our 11. Now make sure this does say IN. If it says PX, which is going to stand for pixels, Photoshop's going to make your photo really, really small. Only 15 by 11 pixels. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to leave resolution blank. But if you had a photo that was a lot of megapixels, and you're going to be printing something that's very small, say a custom size of a 4x7, my advice would be to type 300 into the resolution box. That way Photoshop can resize your image down to a more reasonable amount of pixels and it'll help with the sharpness at that size as well. Alright, now that our sizes are entered in, we can go ahead and draw our crop box. Position just how we want it. Now you can tap the enter key, or you can look for this little check mark. And there we go, we shaved off, and we've told it to be an 11 by 15. Now let's check it. We'll go to image, image size, and under the document size we are asking Photoshop to make it an 11 by 15. Now at the amount of pixels that we have, and then at the size we're asking to print, Photoshop's saying that the printer is going to be able to print around 218 ink dots per inch. And that's going to give us a pretty decent print. Alright, so we're halfway there. Now that we've got this set up as an 11 by 15, we need to ask Photoshop to extend the canvas out to 12 by 18 inches. So it's got to add extra pixels around the outside edge. We're going to do that by going to Canvas Size. So Image, Canvas Size. So here we're going to take our 15 and we're going to go up to 18. Take our 11 and we're going to go to 12. Make sure the center box is checked here, not one of these outside boxes. That way it's going to stretch the canvas and add the extra pixels all the way around this photo. Our canvas extension color, we want to leave this white. Make it white if it's something else. That way the lab's not wasting ink because we're going to end up trimming this off anyways. Hit OK. And Photoshop generates new pixels that go around our original 11 by 15. So it's still intact on the inside. Now let's see what we've got. Image, image size, and we do have an 18 by 12. And we're still printing the same DPI. Now all we have to do is save this out as a file, go down to our lab, ask them to print a 12 by 18 inch print, it's going to come out looking just like this. We can just trim off the white and voila! Our uh, photo is going to fit right into our 11 by 15 inch frame. 